This isn't what I had hoped for. Nothing like finding out that the family estate you inherited is nothing but a pile of ruins. And here I thought my life was finally taking a turn for the better. I just found out that this land belongs to me. You see, my father recently passed away. I was reading his journals and learned of this place. I wasn't sure why he kept it a secret until I got here. This place is haunted. Makes my skin crawl just getting near the damn place. There are imps everywhere, and the whispers, they threaten me, warn me to stay away. But this is my land now. No bodiless voice is going to make me leave. A Bailborn always pays for services rendered. This place might look like a ruin to you, but it's a part of my family. It's all I have left. Search the ruins. See if you can find a ghost wandering around, or wailing, or rattling chains, or doing whatever ghosts do. Do you think I should hire a priest to perform some kind of ritual? Owning a haunted estate is all rather new to me. Damn ghosts won't let them in! Why else would I be standing out here? That's like asking me why my father Maurice was such a bastard. There are things we aren't meant to know. When the voice whispered to me, it said that the land was no longer mine. According to my father's journal, this property has belonged to my family for centuries. But Maurice was also a lying bastard whose death was long overdue. He was known for only telling half the story. Hand in hand, we snuck through the gardens and sat on a bench beneath the moon. The way he looked at me sent shivers down my spine. Our love is forbidden. Still, we care for each other deeply. He plans to tell his parents of our love soon. A return, my love. I missed you so much. What is this? It's beautiful. My mother's necklace. She gave it to me. Told me to give it to the woman who would... who... would become my wife. Is this... is this what I think it means? Oh, Maurice! This is the happiest day of my life! I didn't steal your necklace, my lady. I swear to you. Your son gave it to me. Maurice, please tell her. Silence! My son would never give my necklace to a lowly serving girl. I don't know which is worse. Your lies or your thieving fingers. Maurice, please. Tell her of our love. The time we've spent together. Why won't you say anything? I'm sure she didn't mean to steal it. She's been working awfully hard. Perhaps exhaustion. Enough! I'll hear no more excuses. Punish her with the whip, and then lock her in the tower. That... that wasn't such a good idea. It wasn't necessarily a bad idea, but it was most definitely not a good idea. After you entered the ruins without any trouble, and I'm not counting the imps, mind you, I assumed that the spirit had fallen asleep or something. Anyway, as we stepped inside, we were hit with a wave of incredible force. It hurt. A lot. Great. Just great. If you shake my family tree, my father wouldn't be the only bastard to fall out of it. But he might be the worst. We have to reason with this spirit. Show her that I'm not the one who wronged her, and I don't deserve her wrath. What? Why would I do that? That's a foolish idea. A Baleborn never abandons his property. We need to get rid of her. Explain our side. But I'm not really sure how to communicate with a spirit. Maybe you could summon her or something. You just... Well, you... 
Damn, I don't know. Head back to Daggerfall. The Mage's Guild there has a library. They must have a book or a scroll or something that has the information we need. Over here! We have much to discuss, you and I. Honestly, why fight a foe up close when you can roast them from afar? Some people call it cowardice. Me? I call it good sense. I do hope you're not dabbling in necromancy. That magic always causes more harm than good. But yes, we probably have what you seek. Check upstairs. That's where we keep books on the arcane arts. Collection of foolish thoughts, that. All to sell more books. Don't expect to find much truth in a tome such as that. Summoning spirits can be dangerous work. I heard about you. About how you entered the ruins of Baleborn Tower. You must not undo the sacrifices that have already been made. My master sent me to give you advice and guide you to the right decision. By helping you accomplish what the Baleborn has requested. My master sent me to help you summon the spirit. You need to see why the Baleborn curse must not be broken. Someone who must remain secret, for now. But time is wasting. You need to understand that this curse must not be broken. Ah, uh, words are so much less effective than seeing the reality of a thing. Now think carefully before you answer my next question. I need to determine if you can truly summon the spirit of the dead. What is the spirit's name? Claudie Themond was a quiet woman. She never wanted power or riches. All she wanted was love. A... family. A home to call her own. What token did the one she loved give to her? What was the gift that would prove to be her undoing? Something so ordinary as a piece of jewelry once promised an eternity of love. And yet, it led to Claudie's untimely death. My final question. What drove Claudie to act as she did? Yes, revenge. She hated the Baleborns. Wanted to destroy them more than anything. Except saving her child. The deal she made... You'll see. I'll take those items. Go on to the gravesite by the Daggerfall Cathedral. We will send Claudie there. happened to the tower? What? What have you done? The Baleborns hired you, didn't they? But you don't understand. You don't know what I gave up to stop them. I lost everything. I lost my... my baby. I fell in love with a coward. A Baleborn who couldn't disappoint his mother, even if it meant his beloved had to die. My love turned to hatred in that tower. Before the end, I begged and prayed for someone to help my unborn child. You have to understand, Akatosh Daedra, it didn't matter who heard me. I just wanted my baby to live. I made a bargain, got my revenge, saved my baby. The Baleborns deserved to lose what they loved the most, their wealth, their lands. I felt my child leave me. I could smell the smoke from the tower. I heard the screams. The deal had been struck. The Baleborns don't change. That family carries evil in its heart. Let them all rot. The ward and the waterfall will always keep the Baleborns away. The Master made it with his own blood. No! You can't! The Master won't let you. My, my baby! What, what would become of him? The Master would kill him. I don't believe you would do such a thing. You know the Baleborns are evil. You know that my curse must stand. What's going on? I was able to get this far, but I still feel the approaching dread and building terror. Did you talk with the spirit? 
I told you my father was a bastard, but what he did happened many years ago. I had no part in that. Why should I have to suffer for what he did? It doesn't matter. Listen, you need to convince the ghost to move on. Please, convince the spirit that we suffered enough. My mother ordered the hired guards to reclaim this place no matter the cost. It's out of my hands. These men will kill anyone who gets in their way. Damn it, I tried to warn you. Remember that. I tried. I'm leaving before the ghost makes my head explode or something. I'd run if I were you. Useless, the both of you. We'll handle this ourselves. Every Baleborn who dares to return to this land shall fall. The Baleborn heir. He could have been my son, if Maurice had only stood up to his evil mother. Instead, he let her lock me in that tower. What happened? Only what was meant to be. He ran headfirst off this cliff. The curse remains in place, just as Tachnin promised when he first appeared to me in the tower. You know, I never asked what happened to my child. It's comfort enough that Tachnim continues to honor our bargain. You aren't a Baleborn. Besides, we believed that you would do the right thing. I hope my child grew up with the same virtues that you demonstrated here. Thank you. A pact was forged here many years ago. No Baleborn may walk this land. Any of that bloodline who ignore this decree shall be dealt with! Harshly. My master made the deal. I am merely the messenger that carried out his orders. He serves at my master's side. But as long as the child remains useful, I shall honor the bargain that was struck. Evil? Such a mortal way of thinking. I exist to serve a purpose. Right now, that purpose is to ward this land from the Baleborn. When my master commands it, my purpose will change. That is not good or evil. It simply is. <laughs> <laughs> 